Hello, my name is Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor, and today we're going to get to know about common conditions that I know men live with every day and nobody seems ever want to talk about the answers to these problems. Well, I want you to know pain brings men into our office and that millions of people wake up every day with pain and pain medication has bad effects, has side effects, and some of those side effects can be quite damaging. One of them, for example, something as simple as NSAIDs, aspirin, can cause bleeding, can cause excessive bleeding, internal bleeding, and can alter blood flow, blood oxygenation. But the reality of it is most men suffer with some type of low back pain. And I know that you may be watching me right now and say, yes, he's talking to me. I have low back pain. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know who to see. Let me show you a few little tidbits for yourself just to give you an idea of what you may have and what you may be contending with. If you have low back pain that is sharp, sharp pain means ligament involvement. You may have strained or sprain a ligament in your lower back from either bending and twisting and picking something up. If you have low back pain that's dull, dull means muscle, muscle injury, muscle damage. Most of the time, low back pain that's dull will go away in a few days. It's self-limiting. Sharp pain's a little bit different you could have actually caused one of the tiny vertebrae in your lower spine to go out of alignment. And when it goes out of alignment, it's going to put pressure on sensitive nerves that's going to cause relentless pain. A part of my training is in spinal mechanics. And I have a fellowship in spinal mechanics, spinal biomechanical engineering. And what I have learned when patients come into our office and we take films standing up, we may actually have patients get their x-rays side bending to the right or to the left. I'm looking for sides of weakness. We always try to strengthen the weaker part of your spine and we do that with specific exercises designed to improve function. You may want to find and seek a skilled practitioner in your region that understands the mechanics of that low back region. If you have pain in your low back that spreads to your buttocks and into your leg and there's numbness, this may in fact be a bit more serious. And there's a simple test that you could do, is you could stand on your toes and on your heels. If standing on your toes or heels does elicit low back pain, it's very possible you may have disc involvement. You could have someone place pressure on the top of your head. You're standing up erect, have someone put pressure on the top of your head. If that causes low back pain, once again, you may want to seek a skilled practitioner. One simple other test that you can do, and I'm just trying to help you. I'm trying to help you to take away fear is lie on your tummy, on your bed or on the floor, and pick up your head and shoulders. If your low back pain gets worse and it starts to spread down your leg, chances are you may in fact have a disc involvement. And you really want to find someone that is skilled in improving function, spinal function. One of the areas that I see that is very common in our practice and this is going to be really unusual when I share this with you, is chronic mid-back pain. Pain between the shoulders. Guess what I have found to be one of the leading causes of pain between the shoulders. Are you ready for this? White potatoes. The blood sugar in your body is altered with white potatoes. You could have gnawing pain in your mid-back region because of white potatoes and right between the shoulder blades a little bit higher. If you have a desire for pineapple, I have seen that pineapple can cause mid-back pain also. 
One of the areas that have been really fortunate to recognize is that what you eat can either cause pain or take pain away. Chronic left neck and shoulder blade pain, mid back on the left side, is almost always caused by, are you ready? Bananas, raisins, and grapes, and yogurt. Anytime you wake up in the morning and you have neck pain, or anytime during the day for that matter, and your left neck and mid back hurts, write down what you've been eating, journal that, and see if there's any sweet fruit or dairy products. Very common cause of left neck and mid back pain, both in ladies and in men, but a lot of times men won't say anything about that. Another area that I see that's quite common is right shoulder blade pain. Right shoulder blade pain can be referred to the right shoulder because of your gallbladder. Do you have a metal taste in your mouth? Metal tastes oftentimes are from stagnant gallbladder function. Another condition that we see commonly is right knee pain, and that can be actually caused from gallbladder congestion. A part of my experience in training has been in Chinese acupuncture, and it's common for us to see individuals have right knee pain associated with their gallbladder being irritated. If you have had your gallbladder removed, by the way, it's very important to support that with bile salts, which we use in our practice. A couple other areas that I know is quite common with men is wrist pain. I'm gonna share something with you that I feel will benefit you, especially if you already had carpal tunnel surgery once. What I have found is that most of the time, people will have carpal tunnel, that's altered function of your wrist, on the preferred side or your handiness side. If you come into our practice, or if right now you're suffering with wrist pain in both wrists, it could be coming from a decayed or damaged disc in your neck. If you have pain in both wrists and they want to do what we call bilateral wrist surgery, just call me up. Just come and see Dr. Bob because I'm going to tell you right now, we help people from all over the world that have chronic wrist pain. I know that some of you right now have golfer's elbow or tennis elbow. That is oftentimes helped with vitamin B6. Carpal tunnel pain and tennis elbow and golfer elbow pain can be helped and improved with 150 milligrams of vitamin B6 for anywhere from three to six months. Wrist and elbow pain are quite common. Now I know that some of you do weightlifting or participate and engage in strenuous exercise and you could have bursitis or tendonitis in your shoulder. Anytime that you've been told that you have tendonitis, we also use vitamin B6, 150 milligrams a day for three to six months. So another area that we see up in the shoulder region, especially if you love orange juice. Can I share something with you when it comes to living without pain and joint pain and common conditions? Is orange juice can cause joint and muscle pain, especially when the temperature is below 60 degrees. You don't want to consume citrus because it turns to mucus in your colon. Bursitis in the shoulder area also is improved with something that we use called apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar will help relieve a common problem, which is shoulder pain. You know, so many men suffer today, or I should say contend with, another very common condition, and that's high cholesterol. They always say to me, Dr. Bob, my cholesterol is up. What should I do? Very simple. Minimize sugar, minimize trans fat, minimize or eliminate ice cream products. Dairy products have a tendency, especially ice cream, to raise one's cholesterol. Eggs are okay. I eat eggs. My cholesterol is absolutely normal. Egg yolk has something in it called lecithin. You know, gentlemen, I also know that you oftentimes suffer with depression. 
especially when you're around 40 years old, I would encourage you to take at least one tablespoon of flax oil per day per 100 pounds. Oil is very important for your brain. A common health challenge with a depression is fatigue also. You want to make sure that you're in bed by 10 o'clock. An area that I see that men oftentimes start to suffer with is their posture starts to go forward. We encourage our patients to get a large ball, a 55 centimeter ball, and start laying back on it two to three minutes every day. I also know the gentlemen that come into our office have a tendency to have issues with high blood pressure. I'm gonna share a little nugget with you. We use something called Celtic sea salt. It's an unrefined salt, and oftentimes we see much improvement with high blood pressure issues because you've been consuming table salt, which is sodium chloride. Sodium chloride can alter your blood pressure. Do you know what else I see can raise a blood pressure? Lack of vitamin D. We've had so many men come into our office that are working so many hours, they're not exposed to sunshine. We actually do blood spot tests on individuals for the vitamin D level. I would encourage you to have your vitamin D tested. Your vitamin D level should be at least 40. Any time that it's less than that, and a lot of times when the level's around 10 or so, the vitamin D level being that low can result in high blood pressure, diabetes, MS, very common health problems that we see in our practice every day. I personally take 5,000 international units of vitamin D every day. But a common health problem for men is high blood pressure, which can respond to vitamin D. What about diabetes, gentlemen? Diabetes is the third largest killer of people in our society today. Cut back on sugar, exercise. Exercise burns the extra glucose. Have your HA1C test done. It helps us create a strategy to lower your blood sugar. Very common health challenges that we see in our male patients. How do you deal with stress? Well, I'm gonna tell you this. If you come home from work and you're stressed and your cortisol level is up and you have this panic that you have to eat something, I would encourage you to do some type of very easy exercise, whether it be stretching with the band to help burn that extra cortisol. So, common conditions can be eliminated by eating the right food. Make sure you're drinking water. Remember I talked about bananas, raisins, and grapes can cause left neck and shoulder blade pain. Water helps increase the size of disc spaces, helps increase joint space size. Make sure that you're consuming up to 150 milligrams of vitamin B6 takes away pain and inflammation in the body. Discipline is freedom. Drink your water, get to bed with plenty of time, rest, spend time with your family. All these little tips will make a huge difference in some of your common health problems. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria, the drugless doctor. Thank you for joining me today.